Well, good morning. No, good afternoon. It's yeah, quarter past twelve, Sunday. Good afternoon. Not a very nice afternoon, I have to say. It's grey, overcast, um, drizzling, which is not nice, but I can't odds that. So I just thought I'd give you a quick update on our Svesda French Elite Infantry, which are still at the deflashing stage. So, still lots to do. Um, the reason they're still at the deflashing stage is not because I've been idle. I have not been idle. I've been anything but idle. I have... Um, well, what it was... I sat and thought about all these flat pack buildings that I have, super quick buildings, of which I have a considerable wadge of them now, sort of add. And I thought, it'd be rather nice to have a bridge to go with them, so we can have some kind of water feature. Just makes the battlefield a bit more interesting on occasion, to have a bridge and a water feature, etc, etc, etc. So I went online and looked at the super quick bridges. Um, perfectly nice bridges, don't get me wrong. But not really what I wanted. And I couldn't really sort of see any way of adapting them. So that was that. So I then looked at the Metcalf bridges, which are a similar thing, you know, flat pack, put them together yourself. And again, you know, perfectly nice bridges, but just wasn't really what I was looking for. So in the end I gave up and thought, well, it's probably going to be a case if you have to um, make something yourself, scratch build something. But I wasn't really 100% sure so exactly what I wanted. I just, I didn't want, and what I didn't want was anything too big. That's what I didn't want, because my gaming table is going to be, I imagine, sort of bits of space that I have, probably six foot by four foot, something in that region. That's a, that's a dimension that keeps cropping up. I keep reading that in the magazines and stuff. Six foot by four foot, it's a popular size for a gaming table. It's not over big, so it's, that's probably what I'm going to end up with, something like that. So I didn't want anything too big, bridge-wise. But I, I, I thought about it, and in the end I just sort of... I just went for it, I guess. I just... Off the top of my head, no, no plans or nothing like that. I just went for it and just... Sort of saw what happened, and, uh, and it... I don't know, I guess it, this thing took on a life of its own, you know, and I got very involved with it. And the, I've got to be honest, there were some nice challenges to get over, some problems to get over, which I didn't anticipate. And it, it gave me lots to think about, and it was interesting. So in the end, I scratch built. Scratch build, scratch build a bridge, if I can say it. So there we have one scratch build bridge. And for a scratch build bridge, I don't think that's too bad. I think that'll look okay on the table when we've Got it all sort of set, put a few trees in there, a couple of trees in, and um, some rushes down by the water and stuff. And yeah, I don't think that's too bad. I think that's perfectly acceptable for a scratch built first effort. I mean, that's not too bad. I mean, obviously, now having made this, I'm a wiser person and there are some things that I would do differently and 
sort of some things I would look out for to get things in sort of better proportion. I, I sort of know what I'm doing now, put it that way. Um, this is like a um, prototype trial run, if you will. And I'm now aware of what it takes to build a bridge, scratch build a bridge. But for a first effort, you know, I don't think that's too bad. Um, I wasn't really sure of the turn this over, you can see that coloration of the waterbed, you know, the riverbed. So I went and looked at my own local river and you see um bridge models in the magazines and stuff and people have painted it blue underneath and stuff. Go and look at a riverbed, there's no blue. There's no blue. There's a lot of different shades of brown, greens with the weed and the stuff, little flecks of white here and there. Um, I took a lot of photographs of my local riverbed and also the bridges. Let's go over it because we have uh, just off the top of my head one, two, three bridges that I can go and look at. Sort of arch bridges. And if I went far enough, I say far enough, a couple of miles away, there's a viaduct. I could go and look at that if I ever wanted to build a viaduct, which is handy. So I've got stuff, uh, which was nice, I've got stuff that I can look at for ideas, which was good. And I looked at the riverbed, and there, there's no blue in it. It's just, blue doesn't come into it. It's all greens and browns, and different shades of browns, and so on and so forth. Um, it's a very... Um, I don't want to say gravelly bottom, but it's more or less all sort of stones. And, bits and pieces. There's, 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 there's mud here and there but not a huge amount of it. It's, it's a sort of rocky bottom. And I tried to replicate that with the different colours on the baseboard and then went over it with PVA. There's probably better ways of replicating water and stuff but yeah. If I make another bridge I'll look into it further you know but yeah for a first effort for first effort, I don't think that's too bad. I mean, I'm sort of happy with that, you know, I mean, that's, that's all it's going to get, put it that way. My first piece of terrain, that's all it's going to get. I'm going to get back onto what I should have been doing before I got dropping into that. So, thanks for subscribing, thanks for watching, thanks for your comments. Have a nice Sunday. See you on the next one.